Yep, I've clicked on it. And after that, can you see your menu bar has come up? Yeah. Yeah, now on that menu bar, sir, can you see any option as run? R U and run? Uh, no, it's not Windows XP, it doesn't have a run option. Okay, can you see all programs at the bottom? There's a search panel. Yeah. Yeah, now type down on that search panel. C for Charlie. Yeah. M for Mother. Yeah. D for David. Yeah. And now press the enter key from your keyboard. Uh huh. Yeah, done that. I've got a nice black window. Now what? Sorry? I've got a nice black window. Yes. Now on that box, sir, you need to type down A for apple. Yeah. S for sugar. Yeah. S for sugar again. Yeah. O for Oscar. Yeah. T for Charlie. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And now press the enter key from your keyboard, sir. Enter. Yep. Yeah. Say that. Yeah. Now look on the third last line, sir. The longest line on that box. Can you see? It's written as ZF sent to target equals to CLSID. Yeah. Yeah, so this CLSID stands for your computer license security ID, okay? Which is a very confidential code for your computer and which can be only in your computer and with the service providers, okay? Uh huh. So, first of all, I will be confirming you that ID from my side, okay? So, can you hear me? Yep, say that again, sorry. What I'm saying you, that I will be reading out that ID from my side so that you can check it and whether it's correct or not. Right, okay then. So should I read the ID? Um, well, that ID won't matter because that ID is the same on every computer. It's because it's on every computer I have. How many computers do you have? How many Windows computers? I have four. Four of them are having Windows computer, right? Yep. So that's not an ID for a computer, is it? And, 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 and all are connected with one internet connection, right? Yeah, that's nothing to do with the internet connection. Tell me first, all are connected with one internet connection. Yeah, it's not anything to do with the internet connection. And um, because the other computers are running on a separate internet connection. You are using the four computers in your house, right? Four computers, and two networks. You are using these four computers. Mm -hmm. are there in your house, right? Yep. Uh, actually, no. There's two computers here and there's two computers which I'm remotely looking at at work and they have both got the same ID. So, what I'm saying you, that four computers which you're using, okay, they are in your house? Uh, no. There's two computers here. There's two computers at work. At work? I'm yeah. not talking about your work computer. Yes, but I'm looking at my work computers as well, and they have the same ID. So it's not my internet, is it? Yes, but you are using it. It's been registered in your name, right? It's registered in what? Well, not all the computers. No, the work computers are registered under the company name. All the computers? No, only two computers are registered to me, so those two computers would only have that ID if that ID was anything to do with my computers in the first place, but it's not, because you're saying it's internet related. But it cannot be internet related if it's on okay. two computers at home and two computers at work. So how can it be one ID you for four computers? So is that one ID for four computers? Four computers have been used by you, right? 
Yes, not and registered I'm to me. I'm talking about this CLS ID of a computer. Windows operating system computers are having this CLS ID, okay? So as I'm going to read out an ID to make you confirm that you are talking to a service center who provides support and services to the users of Windows operating system. Right, well, if okay. that, what's the point in reading me the number of, if your Windows system has the same um, CLS ID, so why would you read me it if I already know that you've got the same number? That doesn't confirm anything, that just means you've got I a Windows computer. I need to make you confirm that you are talking to a legend company, sir. Well, that doesn't confirm. Just tell me your Microsoft ID. Sorry? Tell me your Microsoft customer ID reference. Mine. Yes, yours, because you would need a representative ID code to be talking to me from Microsoft. Sir, I am not talking you from Microsoft, okay? I am not calling you from Microsoft or Windows. Because Windows or Microsoft, they never ever give the call to their customers for their services. Well, that's right. That's because they hand out to proper technicians, which who do yes, get an ID. So if you, if you are a technician authorised from Microsoft, you will have a Microsoft authorization ID. Sir, we are not authorised from Microsoft. So you're, so you're doing illegal activity behind Microsoft's back, then? Are you telling me that you're doing illegal activity behind Microsoft's back because they haven't no. obviously told you to no. do it? No, because Microsoft are not concerned about the services, sir. You've just it's told me Microsoft doesn't know anything about it. So you are either working for Microsoft or you're working behind the back, up the back of Microsoft, which is fraudulent. So we are not connected with Microsoft. So how have you got my information? Because we are the service providers and we have done a So are you saying you're my service I provider? Think. So who is my service provider? Yes, we are the service no, you know you're not. I've got a different internet provider. You're not my service provider. Then who do you think that you're, is your service provider? Well, I know who my service provider is. You should know who that is if you're actually talking to me. So you are telling that we are not the service provider of your computer. You're not, then no. Who do you think that is your service provider? I know who my service provider is. You tell me who my service provider is. Sorry? Well, you tell me who I'm supposed to be getting my internet from because that is my service provider. An ISP is an internet service provider. There's not one company that runs all Windows. Let me tell you that I'm not talking about your internet, okay? I'm talking about your operating system. Your operating system is owned by Microsoft. I'm talking about your internet service. Microsoft are the manufacturer of an operating system. They don't provide services. Well, okay. what are Windows updates? Yeah. Windows updates are services provided by Microsoft to fix problems they have been told about by by the customers sending service reports back to them. Are you telling me that you're getting no service reports from Microsoft behind the back now? Which is fraud. They are not providing with the services. Okay? So who are you getting it's the information from? Services. So where are you getting the information from saying I've got a Windows computer in the first place and the fact I've got problems with my computer? What is telling you that's telling what is telling you that's got me any information at all about it? No, because we are the service providers, so we have your telephone number with us so that whenever your computer gets infected we can contact you and make you aware of the problem, right? If you've got my because phone number, if you've got my name, even if you have you do you know actually know what my full name is? You're Mr. Sandy, right? What's my first name? Yes. What's my first name? Yes, so, I, I, we have that name only. Mr. Sandy. Well that and that can be that you can find that on the internet. I if you can Google that. You could Google my name on the internet just by typing my phone number in, and vice versa. So, so, you are Dave Sandy, right? And what's my first name? That that information is on 192.com. That information is available from 192.com. So you could get that from anywhere. Any any telephone directory on the internet will provide that. 
So where have you got the information from right. if you haven't got from there? I think you do. I think you do like this job that the reason you know that a house will steal the name and the numbers. Yes, I do know how to find the name and numbers. It's obvious. I can find anybody's name and number. I don't know. We don't know about it. We so how are you? If you don't know about it, how have you got my details? I told you, we are the service provider. You're not a service and provider. Phone number and your name You don't think so? What provide? What do you provide? We provide supported services to the users. You don't support the service, service to me. Right. So whatever the problems your operating system will face, okay, your software, we, uh, we uh, like solve those problems. Right, so what what information have you got telling you that I've got a problem with my computer? All four of them? So, we have your, like, uh, we are receiving some error reports, okay, like whenever your computer gets infected. So you're telling me you get error reports, even though I send them to Microsoft, you are getting error reports? Are you sure about that? Sorry? So you're telling me you get error reports even though I am sending them to Microsoft? That doesn't make sense. It's not been sent to Microsoft, okay? It's been sent to us. By who? Who sent it to you? Who sent it to us? Yes. Your computer. Which the one? Computer license security. Act. Which computer sent it to you? Your all Windows computer which are using in your house, okay? Which and one? I've got two. Computers. I've got the two one. computers in my house. Which one is sending the information? You must know the computer ID of that computer. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! In your face! <laughs> Burnt! <laughs> Bye! Oh dear, dear, dear. That was funny. Hey, I got it this time. Oh, that's how you record. Oh, fuck am I using all